o'clock. I think I can uh, be officially here now. And I just want to say hi to everyone who's tuning in. This is the second edition of the Music Bar Nun. And I'm here with Corina Marti. And behind the camera is Mikhail Gonko. And they're two very dear friends of mine. And they're also my neighbour, which makes life very exciting, especially in this corona time when we can't go very far. <laughs> I also wanted to say we're back here in the Freibad, which is a wonderful space in the Neubad area of Basel. Um, I'm very grateful that they let me use this space to do these little live streaming concerts. And any musicians in Basel, if you're looking for a big room to rehearse in, where everyone can be two meters apart, then this is the perfect place. It's beautiful acoustic, lots of space. The link is in the description box below. So, Music Bar None, it's very much a learning curve. This is the second edition. I know that from last time, several people said it was difficult to hear me talking. So I've changed the audio and hopefully it's better now. Please do leave me a comment via whatever, Facebook, email, YouTube, whatever. Leave me a comment about how the sound is now, if it's better, if, if I still need to change anything. And also, last time the image was very 1920s black and white movie-esque. We've also been working on that, so hopefully it's a bit better. But um, just so you know, here, Freibad is wonderful, but there's no internet. So I have to do all the, uh, the Wi-Fi is provided by a little SIM card in a little black box. So it's not the most powerful thing in the world. Now, tonight is a very special version of Music Bar None because it's exactly one year since I was last at home in London. And of course, this is a very sad thing. Uh, we've all had a kind of a crazy year with not as much traveling as we would normally do. So I just wanted to use the chance to play some English music and to drink a very popular cocktail in London at the moment, the Porn Star Martini. <laughs> Although I'm guessing it's not quite as popular as it could have been because I guess all the bars are shut in uh, London at the moment. But anyway, hopefully this will, things will get better and uh, soon we can all start travelling around, having concerts again, seeing friends and family and enjoying a cocktail in a cocktail bar. So, I think that's everything I have to say, so now we can start doing the music. And the first piece is a, a Marian Antiphon by Walter Fry. It's a Ave Regina and it praises the Virgin Mary, uh, she's the queen of the angels, she's as beautiful as a rose, as pure as a lily, and we are praising her, the faithful servants of the Virgin Mary.
Yeah, you have to clap. <laughs> <laughs> it's Actually, that's it's the most clap. important job. That's the most important job, the clapping. Yes. Mm. <laughs> if you're not a drunk oh, but, you're, but you're behind, aren't you? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas watching this is the li- uh, not watching us, but watching it is the live stream, and, and the live stream is always like a few minutes later. <laughs> So you can clap when you feel like. <laughs> you can clap twice. Double reality. Aren't you? Well, there's people. So we're carrying on in the uh, praising Mary theme. My mother thinks I have an obsession about the Virgin Mary, but it's just because I'm a medieval musician and most of the music that was written. Oh well, yeah, uh, you do have this obsession, actually. <laughs> okay. This is just a very, very beautiful. It's a carol. There is no rose of such virtue, and it uh, tells the story of the angels coming and uh, everyone being very happy that Jesus is born.
uh, the third piece on tonight's uh, program is again a song to Mary, but this time it's written by uh, Dunstable. And I didn't know very much about him actually, because uh, for some reason I haven't actually done that much English medieval music in my life. But I was doing some research and he was born 40 minutes drive from where I grew up in a town called Dunstable. And uh, he worked, or at least he wrote some pieces for the cathedral in St Albans, which is a 30 minute drive from where I grew up, and very close to where my first boyfriend lived. In fact, he would have, <laughs> <laughs> he would have probably done concerts in the, that cathedral. And, uh, and also, even though Dunstall had a very big international career, he did actually buy a property and he lived in Hertfordshire, which is the, the county that I come from. So I feel like I need to do like a, home, a hometown concert tour of Dunstable at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so get the beds ready, mother will be there as soon as Corona is over. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this is again uh, a beautiful Marian antiphon, um, Holy Mary, pure virgin, glorious queen of the world, pray for us to the almighty. You do have an obsession. I do have an obsession. <laughs> star martini very soon but we're going to carry on and do two more pieces first we've now put mary to one side and <laughs> we are taking uh, some instrumental pieces from the roberts bridge codex which uh, i mean it's a very very famous codex because uh, it's instrumental it's written out uh, probably keyboards tablature um, and we're going to play the first piece it's a riff i can't say it because it's french Retrove, retrove, retrove. It's beautiful with the English yeah. accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to play it on two recorders because it also sounds really amazing on recorders. The pseudo organ. The pseudo organ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah.
I still need I have a piece of I still have to work. You have, have to, to work. work. <laughs> and also nothing to do with a martini. And with martini. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we have martini, we have a porn star Marty. <laughs> but but the person who invented it, one legend is he actually originally called it a passion fruit, uh, you know, I, I don't know, passion fruit something, uh, but it wasn't so catchy and then they changed the name to porn star martini and then it became very, very, very popular. <laughs> so, you start by... Making sure your cocktail glasses are cold. <laughs> and then, in your shaker, which I'm just going to tap it and empty the rest from before and make a new one. Tell me if I'm talking loudly enough or I should be quieter or louder. Now, you fill up your cocktail shaker with ice. And then... I'm learning. <laughs> so, I'm going to make double cocktails because it's for me and Karina. So, normally you would take two passion fruits and you put the heart three halves in here and you save one as decoration. <laughs> oh, actually, could you be my camera's assistant? Depends. <laughs> if you get a spoon, ah, then, then this one there. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You can start emptying all the stuff into them. Like chick-chack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Now the world can see that I'm not building a kitchen for me. I paid the plane, I don't need coffee. <laughs> the last time I had this cocktail was in London. Yes. In fact, yes, we, uh, oh my and I were in London a little while ago. And we went to a very nice cocktail bar mm -hmm. everything. And uh, in fact, I introduced her to the porn star Martini there. Which I didn't know it had this name, I would have never taken it, obviously. But yeah. Mm. I remember no mask, people just, you know, glued to each other, and no Brexit. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's another thing. That's not <laughs> that's for another strange. Thing. That's, that's for hardcore, just vodka, non stop. <laughs> <laughs> this cocktail because it's a lot of fruit. <laughs> I'm sure at least it's a uh, <laughs> two of your five a day because I'm now adding lime juice. I'm going to put like half half a lime in there. So you're saying like two cocktails a day keeps the doctor <laughs> away. <Absolutely. laughs> we have a friend, Arthur, he gets very cross when I make cocktails because I'm never very precise. So uh, Oh this, is, this is for you, Arthur. Arthur, if you're watching, you can tune up our people. <laughs> <laughs> now, now comes the alcohol. Yalla. So, we need <laughs> six centiliters of vanilla vodka. So that means 12, which means... Make it 13. Three of these. Because <laughs> this is four. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Vanilla vodka. Mm. Two. Are you drunk yet? Three. <laughs> and just for Arthur. <laughs> and now we need three, three centiliters of this um, passion fruit liqueur. So that means six, which means okay, which means a four and a two. Yeah. I have to do some maths here. You can. We are <sighs> medievalist. <laughs> I only do quantities of three, the holy three. <laughs> <I'm> okay. <fine. laughs> no, what else do we need? Okay, and then um, some vanilla syrup. Again, I'm going to be totally unprecise and put a kind of a spoon. A schluck. A schluck. I was practicing this the other day with a friend, Molly, and we uh, made it and it was very, very sweet. So I'm going to try and have a little bit less syrup than last time. I thought I had one which you claimed was too sweet and I loved it. So I kind of do a compromise. Uh, so I think this is everything. Yes, this is yeah. everything. So therefore, we have to get ready for the shaking music. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> tip out the ice because the ice is only to make the glass cold but I realised that these glasses are a bit too big for the amount of cocktail so I'm going to keep the ice in yes just so it looks more impressive on the camera it looks amazing did you have this ice? Yes. Mm -hmm. and are we still going to play one? are we still going to play one please? Yeah, it's completely blocked. Because the because of the seeds. Yeah. yeah. I think actually you're probably meant to strain the seeds into this and just have the the juice and not all the seeds. As I remember, I'm too lazy. In this London bar, then when they were shaking, they were kind of you know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take the remaining 
passion fruit and juice and you drop it in. <laughs> it's your sandwich! <laughs> it's a really big passion <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, this is my version of the of the Pong Star Martini, but there's a very, very important thing that's missing. Um, it's a tradition. You're meant to, because it is very sweet, so you're meant to have a sip of it and then have a shot of Prosecco on the side and to alternate between the two. I didn't know that. This is even, that's getting better and better here. I'm not just like looking. I'll come and talk to you about that. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a shot of Prosecco. So I start with the uh, this and uh, <gasps> I, I, I. I think maybe passion fruit first and then this kind of neutralizes the sweetness. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank for you so much. Much. <laughs> Thank you, Mikhail, for, for all your help in keeping me sane and uh, and being the perfect yes, thanks. And, and thanks to the Freibad. <laughs> thanks to the Freibad, exactly. Yeah. And thanks to all you out there watching. I hope uh, if you haven't made this, you're at least enjoying something. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Oof. Okay. Arto, it pays to not be precise sometimes. He knows. Mmm. <laughs> Taste of London. Taste of London, yes. Wow. London and porn London. stars. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no children are watching. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yes. Great. So let's play the last piece and then we can turn the camera off and get very drunk on Ponce Star Martini. Exactly. <laughs> and try to get the passion for the other glass. <laughs>